What up, peeps? It's your boy Hex Steve. Welcome back to the channel. Aaron Kosharski, 7,000 subscribers. He's been recommended. I don't really know anything about him, so let's take a look here. This channel is all about fun and making your dreams come true, whether you're goofing off. That's the wrong weather and that's the wrong your. Okay, it's not looking good so far. Holy crap, he's got 2.2 million views. Let's look at like his popular video. Man. All right, that video was from like 17 years ago, so hopefully things have improved a little bit. This video just came out. It's called Wizard Walmart Hunts 420 to 23 of 2024 $5 Swiggies. Everybody, okay, this is Walmart. This is the Walmart video. This is the $5 clearances. <laughs> okay, I've already judged him. We're buying them out. We're buying all the Walmarts out. Um, these bad Walmart. boys. You we can't got even Saints get Row. the games that were on sale because they wouldn't let you. Hey, yeah, they had band out of three for three cents. They wouldn't sell them. Saints Row, Spyros, five, five, five. Buying all, all the games. Yeah, see you guys at the next stop. Walmart. So basically, we got, you know, some clearance games going on at Walmart. I'm sure you've heard about it, you know, since you watch YouTube. And uh, you've probably came across about six million videos about these fucking games on sale for like $5 and ten dollars of course it's all these games that like nobody really gives a shit about like nerf first of all this audio is like way louder than the rest of his fucking video and two of all, that is a really long intro. You can't be doing that shit in YouTube these days unless you're like, I don't know, John Tron or somebody. Adventure, Hello Neighbor. We've got a couple of those. A couple copies of Need for Speed Unbound. More garbage. No garbage here. It's more yeah. garbage. You need to listen to your friend. Your friend is exactly right, man. The reason those games are so cheap is because nobody wants to buy them. No garbage here. Wrestling. No garbage here. Uh, AEW Fight Forever, the worst wrestling game in modern times other than 2K20. Unbound Spyro. Um, we got a new title here. Uh, Wonderlands. Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. Flop. 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 Dollars. I got a couple of those in this bag. And then, of course, we got the oh, Saints Row baby. See Dude, Saints Row is like the worst rated game in the past two years. Like, what the, what the fuck, man? Like, how are you excited to buy such shitty games? So you could, like, sell them online for, like, a few dollars more in, like, eight years when people decide that they want those shitty games? There's only a couple of comments here. This guy said, never seen someone get so excited to buy something that is on sale at literally every Walmart in America. And he said, imagine me giving you a $5 bill and you giving me back a $20. Oh, shit. He done figured out, you know, the life hack uh, to, to get him out of the fucking hood and get him some new T-shirts and some deodorant. Yeah, he said, if I do that 150 to 200 times. All right, first of all, do we really think this dude has $5 times 150? Yeah, so here's the math here. If he buys, you know, 150 games and sells them for $20 a piece, he makes $3,000. And then go ahead and minus 15%. So that's 450. Uh, you know, so ultimately the dude is making $2,550 off of these games in 11 years when the final one finally sails, when he could have just worked a fucking job and got that shit in like two weeks. Seriously, man, I feel like you guys are so caught up in this hustle of reselling that you forget that you could just like get a real job and not have to go through all these hoops shipping this out going to these stores finding these games for really cheap and then flipping them it's not instantaneous okay maybe if you find a bunch of pokemon and wii sports games it's instantaneous but that's pretty much it another unbound uh, oh boy unbound. oh boy unbound raise your hand if you want to buy that yeah i know i can't see you but i know you didn't raise your hand we just bought all the doubloons every doubloon so if you're wondering I now have over a hundred Switch games, decent titles. N Nickelodeon's Kart Racers is a decent title. Where did you buy like every Among Us game, 
Shin Megami Tensei 5. You only bought two of that. That's probably the only one that's good. Got some Super Monkey Ball in there. So, like, what, what, what what's the point of this, Aaron? Yeah. Monkey Ball. I grabbed it's all like the Sonics. All oh, 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 where are they? Oh, and then this one, this one. Oh, oh, Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl, baby. Oh, oh. We're going to do a recap later. He still hasn't explained it. He's just showing us all this shit like in a very aggressive way like a crackhead uh because i bought out the bottles i spent the monies spent a lot of money this morning we got a bunch of sonic manias we got a bunch of sonic colors ultimate these are all the babies um there was another one in here where'd it go stalled oh, here's a cool one those are all like reject switch games paw patrol super monkey ball i mean super monkey ball is cool like on other platforms but i mean i don't think anybody ever that i know of has been like dude you got to play that monkey ball on the switch uh star wars collection uh we got some shimigamis um this one's kind of cool we got the among us collector's tin for the swiggy collector dish kumate edition um we got power rangers i'll show you guys more when we get back to that store we don't really need to see more though i mean that was pretty much like the wrap-up in my opinion you guys are about to see some crazy shit I don't get a chance to film this later. I'm I didn't expect him to cuss. All right, yeah. So like, battle for bikini bottom, fucking blah blah blah. Man, you know, I just don't see anything here that I would want to buy at you know full market value. Really bad boy here. So yeah, get a shot of me holding it. Boom, that bad boy. Bunch of disc goalies. I traded a bunch. How caught up in your own shit do you have to be? By the way, I watched like the majority of this video and he still did not explain what the fuck was going on. So one thing I noticed, man, is like this dude does not get very many views anymore. It's like he's got 7,000 subscribers, but it's like 500 views, 450 views in a couple of weeks, man. And I, I don't mean to view shame people, but like, damn, I'd be quitting if it was like that low. <laughs> Especially like if you, if you went from like 2.2 million views and now you're getting like 500 every two weeks, it's time to quit. Still gonna keep looking and trucking. Uh, Kiwi's still on a phone cam, uh, trying to find some stuff. So far, the Mario Kart's the only thing I've gotten today. Uh, the Game Boy stuff I got yesterday, so. You shouldn't film so close to your face. And we are at a community. You need to buy a toothbrush, brother. Ultimate Alliance 2, Jack and Dexter, Harry Potter, Mortal Kombat, uh, Virtual Racing. Marvel Brothers 3, we've got uh, Twisted Metal, Dragon Ball, uh, Mario Duck Hunt. Why, why, why? He's got like the energy of Cody with a K and the film and editing budget of a heckin' Steve. Like, bro, this does not work for this type of video, man. You've got to like set it out all neatly for people to see. You're just kind of like, we got this, we got that, we got that. This isn't like, you know, Burger King where you're asking them like what you got to eat. And they're just like, man, we got some burgers, we got some chicken, we got some fries, and some onion rings. I don't know, man. Th this guy is kind of nuts, man. But I, I think I've seen enough to know that I never, ever want to make it to this part of YouTube again. <laughs>